Now we are going to consider some questions in C programming. What is the output of the following C program? This is the C program available over here. What would be the output? Is it 52? Is it 56? Is it 42? Or is it a compiler error? Pause the video for a while and try to answer this question on your own. If you simply ignore this zero in front of this value, then you might think the answer is 52, right? We are simply assigning 52 to this variable and we are printing it. And the answer is 52. Wrong. Answer is not 52. There is obviously a meaning behind it. Why we are placing zero in front of this value. Let's try to understand that meaning. When we place a zero in front of any value, then that value is treated as an octal value and not a decimal value. Please note down this thing. This is very important. When we place zero in front of any value, then that is treated as an octal value and not a decimal value. What we are trying to print here? We are trying to print a decimal value, right? But what we are providing to this variable? We are providing an octal value and we are trying to print it. What is going on internally? An octal value is simply converted to a decimal value. And we know this thing how to convert any value to a decimal value. Like for example, what we do when we try to convert a binary number to a decimal number. We need to multiply each bit with its corresponding place value and then finally add the result. Right? Here also we are going to multiply each digit with their place value and simply add the result. We know this thing that the base of an octal number is 8. Therefore, the place value starts from 8 raised to the power 0, then 8 raised to the power 1, then 8 raised to the power 2 and so on. Here we need to multiply 8 raised to the power 0 to 2, 8 raised to the power 1 to 5 and then simply add the result. And what is going to be the output? 5 is multiplied with 8 which gives us 40. 2 is multiplied with 1 which gives us 2. Then we add these two values together, this will give us the answer 42 which is an equivalent decimal value for this corresponding octal value, right? Therefore, answer is C, 42. We are trying to print a decimal value, right? And not an octal value. Therefore, we need to convert this octal value to decimal value. And this is the conversion process we are performing over here. And this gives us the answer is equals to 42, which is the decimal value corresponding to the octal value 52. That is why answer is 42 and not 52. Please be careful. Now there is one little change to this code. I change this to percentile O instead of percentile D. Percentile O is a format specifier to print an octal value instead of a decimal value. What we are providing to this variable? We are providing an octal value. And if we try to print this, we are getting an octal value only. So the answer is 52. There is no need of any conversions at all. Because what we are trying to print is an octal value. Therefore, no problem at all. Then it prints 52 on the screen. What is the output of the following C program? This is the C program available over here. What would be its output? Is it compiler error? Is it welcome to Neso Academy with exclamation mark and double quotes? Is it a garbage value? Or is it welcome to Neso Academy with exclamation mark? Try to understand this code on your own. Pause the video for a while. Here you can see these are the two macros with their corresponding values which are nothing but strings. One is percentile s slash n within double quotes and the other one is welcome to Neso Academy exclamation mark within double quotes. Now we know this thing already that what is the job of preprocessor. Job of preprocessor is to replace macros with their corresponding values, right? Here, instead of numerical values, we have strings. For the first one, this is percentile s slash n within double quotes. And for the other, it is welcome to Neso Academy exclamation mark within double quotes. Now, what is going on internally? This is our printf function, which we can see over here. Can you spot the difference between this printf function and this printf function? As we know this thing that this macro is replaced by this value which is a string percentile s slash n with double quotes also. Therefore, this macro is going to get replaced by this string over here. And this macro is replaced by welcome to Neso Academy exclamation mark with double quotes. 
and that is what is going on here. So there is no difference between these two printf functions. Preprocessor does its job and replace those macros. After replacement of macros, this is our printf function. As you can see, percentile %s is used to print string on the screen. And here we are providing the string also. If you choose the option b as the answer, then you are totally wrong. We know this thing. Whatever is inside these double quotes is only printed, not these double quotes also. This is the difference between this statement and this statement. Here you can see double quotes, but here there are no double quotes at all. Therefore, the answer is D and not B. Please carefully observe the question. You may answer B. The small mistake you may do is of double quotes. You may answer B, but the answer is D. Okay friends, this is it for now. See you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.